Welcome back to Building Tomorrow's Cybersecurity Workforce, sponsored by ISACA on federalnewsradio.com and 1500 AM. I'm your host, Jason Fornicola, and my guest today is Eddie Schwartz, President and COO of White Ops. We hear a lot about the cybersecurity skills gap. What do you think is the fundamental cause of that gap? I think there are a number of causes for the skills gap, but primarily the problem exists because initially when we started doing cybersecurity, there was a lot of focus on the idea of compliance. Let's say you're in the government sector, right? We had to deal with FISMA at the end of the 1990s and the early 2000s. And FISMA required CIOs and practitioners to go around and do a lot of checklists and check boxes. And it really created what's called a generalist skill set. So you would just have to know a lot of different general things about security. But what's happened over the last several years is we've seen this emergence of advanced threat actors, mm -hmm. nation states, mm -hmm. uh, cyber criminal groups, cyber terrorists even. And, and those uh, groups required advanced technical responses and we just found that we didn't have the workforce uh, to support those needs. Eddie, in your opinion, what do you see as the best strategy to address that gap and shrink it? Yeah, I, th I think we need a strategy because we recently did a survey at ISACA with the RSA conference and in that survey, we found there are over a million jobs that are unfilled with these technical skills that are needed. So the strategy has a number of dimensions to it. One of the dimensions is taking the existing workforce of general security practitioners and retraining them, actually taking them and retraining them to these technical skills. But the other part of the strategy is taking people in other areas of IT or other parts of the workforce and getting them interested in the cybersecurity field, which is a really lucrative and interesting field to work in. Certainly, and a, and a tremendous undertaking to be sure. Why is it that you think ISACA is the right organization at the right time to really spearhead that effort? Well, ISACA has been around for a long time, uh, over 35 years, and, and ISACA has a lot of integrity as a nonprofit organization. Uh, they've created uh, certifications that are well known around the world. They're in 80 countries, uh, well respected everywhere. And ISACA already has a cybersecurity uh, certification that met that need that I talked about earlier in terms of generalists. Now what ISAC has done is they put together a working group a couple of years ago that I was involved in that said what is that need in this world of advanced threats that we're facing and how do we create a certification that really is appealing to employers as well where people that take this certification where you start out as an apprentice, uh, move through a journeyman and then master phase that, that you can actually assess the real hands-on skills that are tested in the field of, of a potential candidate and when they come out of, of that testing process whether they're a practitioner a specialist or a master that they can prove to an employer that I can actually do the things that I studied versus passing some sort of multiple choice test where you don't really know if somebody went to a boot camp or not. Eddie what kind of response have you seen getting people excited and interested in this sort of career field? Well, I'll tell you that uh, a combination of first knowing that there are lots and lots of jobs out there that pay really well in the cybersecurity field, and then the opportunity where uh, potential candidates for these certifications and these jobs can know that they can show potential employers that uh, their fears about, uh, you know, as employees they may not be ready for these jobs can be filled by presenting these certifications that, that show evidence that they can actually use the skills that they've learned in real life, I think is really powerful. So we've seen a lot of demand on the ISACA website for study materials, for study guides, and certainly a lot of interest in the certification exams, the CSX practitioner exam, which is the first one. That, that actually leads me to my next question. I want to learn more about the CSX practitioner certification. Can you tell me about it? Sure. Well, as I mentioned to you, the idea was to create a progression and in that progression uh, let's say that you're uh, either a, a cybersecurity generalist that's looking to transition into a more technical realm or maybe you do something else in IT where you're saying how do I move into cybersecurity in some way or maybe you're even in an unrelated field but you want to get into cybersecurity that practitioner uh, program is really that introductory phase it, it's, it's to give you the, those hands-on skills that let you get right into the workforce and put those skills uh, to test and it's based on the NIST cybersecurity framework so it really is tied to a real-world framework that's accepted by the US government today and certainly by a lot of corporations uh, not only in the US but in different parts of the world 
as you move up, the specialist uh, is in fact mapped to the five areas of the NIST cybersecurity framework. And in the specialist area, you can choose one or all five of them. And then the master, of course, is to show that you really have mastery. And, and that's you know, kind of reserved for people that have been in the field a long time or really can show that, that they have a, a mastery of, of those uh, advanced cybersecurity skills. As we, we close out here, tell me where you see cybersecurity going as a, as a career field in five or ten years from now. Well, one of the things I can tell you for sure is that the bad guys are not going to let up. I mean, certainly with what we've seen in the government space with data breaches, what we've seen in the commercial sector, we know that it's, it's getting worse at an increasing rate. We know there's a huge vacuum in terms of uh, jobs that are out there. So I think this is going to be a great field for both young people coming into the workforce or people in various stages of their career that want to transition. So it's a, it's a great time to get involved with the CSX program, a great time to uh, improve your skills and I think it's a great field for anyone to think about. We're going to pause here for a short break. I'd like to thank my guest, Eddie Schwartz, President and COO of White Ops, on Building Tomorrow's Cybersecurity Workforce, sponsored by ISACA. I'm your host, Jason Fornicola, and you're listening to federalnewsradio.com and 1500 AM.